We were just waiting to see what yeah, they're, they're picking and banning. Oh, they were first ban 300 nuts per minute. Then Rocker Band is a fan of what, about what we expected. The Knights, uh, probably the most favorite for Rocker Band by Seska. Is that in here somewhere? So I got it in old school sound. I could do the first two maps. We're just waiting on the other band or picks. My apologies. And very interesting to see what the tiebreaker is going to be if there is one. Because I feel like this match probably will go to a tiebreaker because I feel like they're all it, very evenly matched. So I uh, so I got it. Ceremony was picked by Seska. Then Rocker picked the dice spoon map, and then Fluffy Flash the second second slowest one. Then picked up by Seska. Outbreak, Rocker, and Deception will be the tiebreaker. Going to be seeing the first map in the series, best of five. Again, remember this one is picked by Seska. The first thing I notice uh, between these two is the height difference. Seska oh, yeah. looks to be standing significantly higher than Rocker. I think that is just because of the of the um, different focus of their play styles. Seska leaning more into into high tech, Rocker being more of an accuracy player, accuracy in mid speed. I think that will, uh, he will profit from that lower height. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Ceska could pro can probably have a decent, uh, better, better kind of oversight over the coming nodes with that uh, higher elevation. But we see this is not clear cut. Even though Ceska yeah, picked this, very close. the lead has been picked up by Rocket. It's bouncing back and forth. These two plays are very, very evenly matched, and this is one of the faster maps in this pool. Now, one miss could be absolutely catastrophic for either of them. However, I feel like. Because of how balanced they are, if one misses, the other might as well. However, I mean, it doesn't. Both players are still holding a full combo very strongly, with 97s. You know, like yeah, the, the is, pure accuracy match. of both of them is insane. The difference between them has been as close as this from the very beginning, and it is none of these are giving any inch to the other person. Going, going very, very close to the line. No, well, a couple of nineties might seal the deal of who's in the lead. So yeah, only zero point eight percent difference right now, which is ridiculous. Especially because, yeah, this is a speed map. Also, Rocker does not have a score on this. And Seska's PB is a ninety-seven point one five, which he's currently very close to. Rocker falling behind a little bit. It's that 0.15%, I'm very sorry. It's currently the difference between them. It would be a very, very strong start for Rocker to beat Seska on his own pick. But since, like, since we are about to get more techy and, and slower, especially, it, this kind of does not say anything about the series, about mm -hmm. what's to come. I'm very curious to see if a replay will get called on this as well. I think Seska to might down if, to a 96. I think Seska might call one if Rocker clutches, but it is very early in the series, and I think it doesn't make sense for Rocker to do it on Seska's pick, especially on a map that is probably more in Seska's comfort zone than his. Mm -hmm. I mean, who knows? This I'm not sure if this would happen, but yeah, Rocker doesn't have a score in this, so I wonder if this is a sight read for him. This, if, okay, listen, if, if this is a side read, <laughs> if this is a side read, if Rocker is almost beating Ceska, one of the best tech players, one of the best players in general, on a side read, I, 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 I listen, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what I do, <laughs> honestly. I don't think it's a side read. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Seska is currently ranked number two on the score saber leaderboards for old school sound. And then I don't see Rocker anywhere on here, so he either might not yeah, have he, submitted he also, the score. I also couldn't find the score on the last one. 
then maybe he was practicing them without score submission somehow. Maybe he was practicing them... I don't know, I don't know, he was... He was playing them, because this is not a side read accuracy. This is a half a percent ahead of Tesca, one of the best players in the game, after the 40 seconds, Rocker. This is what this man can do on tech. We're holding up a 97.4. Especially on a map like this is ridiculous. He's dropping a little bit though. Rather, Seska is still kind of holding the 97. Kind of dwindling though. Seska, his PB is also a 97.4. So Tseska is significantly lower than what he has shown he can do. So just the question is if Tseska is going to be able to pull back up. And I know we're already halfway through the song, so it's going to be fairly hard for him to gain his act back because it's I so much harder to raise your act late in a yeah, song. Yeah, one and a half more minutes. I think he has the time, especially because Rock has been, has been dropping a bit. He was a decent bit higher, is now dropping his in, in score. I th it would. I think it's possible for Zeska. He just needs to keep his mind on it and just egg out of his mind. A bunch of clean 115s on that little stream of damn nuts. Yeah, that was great to see. It's really showing how well these players are with their act. Both players hitting the bomb reset really well. Both climbing. Very, very far, Rocker. Going back to the 97.4 in about 10 seconds. Crazy how you accuracy on that bomb reset part. About to near the end of this match. Yeah, and we see. Seska did Seska. climb. Seska. Yeah. The only chance Seska has is for a miss from Rocker, but I don't think that's going to happen as the map has slowed down a yeah, lot. The words missing and Rocker do not often come up in the same sentence. <laughs> Especially on maps like these. That is just out of the conversation. 97.5. If he takes this to the end, as he will, this is a top two global score just behind Busy. Beating Seska's PB and beating Seska in this tournament match, taking his first point as well. Replay wow. would not make sense on, on Seska's part. Could be. Oh, these matches are all looking so spicy. It's incredible. All right, but now we're all focusing on Fluffy Flash, Seska facing Rocker on Rocker's pick. Expect very, very high accuracies on this one. This is not a fast map, especially from players of this caliber. Let me just quickly check the scores. The top scores are all above 97%. But again, Rocker doesn't have a submitted score. Oh no, he does, he does. He does have a 97.2. Seska has almost a 97.3. But I do not know how old Rocker's score on this is. Currently, Seska has the lead. Especially with the axe as high as this, with 98s, 98.7s, a single 90 hit would be absolutely devastating. Mm, I agree, yeah. Both players really need to take their times in their swings. Both of them are swinging really slow to be to make sure they get all those points. Both also, I believe, hilting these notes. Yeah, they do. They do put a lot of control into their swings, and you can see you can see it pays off. It is pretty much only 113 and up for Rocker on the right side. Same for Zesko, who's currently leading in accuracy by about 0.07%, which is not a whole lot. The gap between them has been steadily closing for the first one and a half minutes of this song. Just under one minute remaining now for Rocker to make this difference back. This is a, this is a fairly short song. And especially with an act map, every and with an act map this short, every single note matters. You're very, very right with that one. Getting into this, the, this map gets a little bit faster towards the end, so we'll have to see how that affects it. The gap between them has been pretty steady at this point one between point one and point oh five uh, percent. 
But it looks like this is gonna be the end. Yeah, Rocco, I don't think he's gonna make that back. Point one yeah, Seska's doing really very, very strong on this. Wait, am I looking at the wrong map? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong leaderboard. Jesus. <laughs> I was thinking because I was looking at the leaderboard and I said, yeah, the top goes about a low 97. I was, I'm looking both of these players on high 98s. So I'm like, wait, I was looking at the expert plus a leaderboard. Jesus. <laughs> but, but listen, still, Seska's PB on this map is a 98.28. Wow, half a percent better on <laughs> half percent. Yes. Half a percent. Insane. All right. Like, um, yeah. This is a replay. Oh, so wow. Rooker did call it. Confident he can do better than Seska's 98... 97.7? 6. Yeah, something like that. 98.6. Yeah, uh, yeah, something like that. It's in, in that area. But we will <laughs> see. We will see if that replay works out for Rocket. It, it, ha it, it has to. If it doesn't... It's gonna be super, super tough for him. Oh, absolutely. Because, yeah, the next maps coming up are mostly just, like, speed. Yeah. And currently, Tsaiska's playing better, better than last time. Almost getting close to a 99%. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, both are currently playing better than they did on the last match. Yeah, but the gap between them, I think, is also bigger because Tesca is, is he's acting out of his mind. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm only seeing like 115s out of them. Almost on the 99%. It looks crazy. It looks almost impossible to make up this difference, but if someone could do it, it would be Rocker. Less than... Oh my god, it is so ridiculously close. It, it is anyone's match at the moment. Yeah, but he's, he is catching up! Both of them also playing way better than last run. They were not content with their previous performance at all. Trying to perform better now. But Seska is yeah. still in the lead. It's not much time in it. We've seen it before. The outro is pretty long and pretty uneventful in this map. So if Rocker wants to pick the lead, he did for a split second. He wants to win now, but he doesn't pick it up in the end. Wait, is this already the end? No, it's not the end. A little bit more. A bit more in it. Sesco would seal the deal. So ridiculously close. This is the chance for Rocker in the very end. And he did. Tesco wins with a difference of 43 points over Rocker taking the second map on Rocker's replay. It's, you see Rocker shaking his head immediately. He was again not happy with his performance. Tesco's taking a second point and a super strong stance in this series. Greggy mentioned in the chat how Rocker hates this map. <laughs> We will have to see. No, it does not matter if he likes or hates this map. He will have to perform to the best of his ability to have a chance against the demigod Seska, who is starting out with an insane 98% in the intro. It's, it's, it is, it's close. Yeah. I'm we need to believe wait a little that. bit for the accuracy to stabilize, but... Oh, both of them are now dropping rapidly! But it seems like wow. Rocker's losing a tiny bit more, but not too much more! Oh. Hold on! Rocker! Rocker pulling through barely, they're just teetering taking, on the edge! Taking the, for a, taking the lead for a couple of seconds, Rocker just before giving it back to Seska, both of the players the accuracies are currently plummeting as we get into the faster section of this map. But Almost. it's up right the Rocker spinning up a lead! 0.1%! Kind of shrinking as we get into a little bit of a break. Seska trying his best to claw it back. Rocker missed! Ooh. Now he that's needs to keep be going. Absolutely devastating. 
keep playing at his absolute best and hope that Seska matches that miss. If he doesn't, that will pretty much be it for Rocker in this match. Absolutely. <laughs> it all comes down on whether Seska, one of the absolute best players who have ever played this game, <laughs> From he's going to pick up a miss and he doesn't need to pick up one. Seska needs to pick up two now because Rock has backed down to a combo of zero. Another miss miss from Rocker. Yeah, these Rocker's are probably the patterns Rocker was talking about when he said he hated this. This pretty much so looks... <laughs> what is it? Rocker getting a new follower. Yeah, this is a 2% difference. Yeah, it looks pretty much unsolvable now. Just holding strong with the full combo. The 96.5 right now. Yeah, this is looking very grim for Rocker. Half, a little over halfway through the map. It was looking so, so promising at the beginning. Wow. And then just that midsection. Pretty much... <laughs> Please, please, if you're if you're watching, please don't follow Rocker just because it's funny. He still wants to play the the best game he can, so actually nice. One one and a half percent, yeah. Without misses, I think Rocker's now up to three or four. If Tesca combos wow. his to the end, he has it. Another section. This is the section where he lost, uh, where he missed before. Rocker now seems to get through it cleanly, which is good to see. And these are really years. difficult jumps. Yeah, it, it, incredibly difficult. Rocker is catching up, but it, just because Rocker has such a low height, he really has to stretch his arms all the way to hit those top notes. Yeah, it does not seem like it makes on a map with these many top notes. Maybe the low, the lower uh, height he has selected is not too helpful. Drains a lot more stamina that way. Mm -hmm. Tesca going towards the 2k combo. That's incredible. Another miss from Rocker. Oh, and a miss! Two misses from Tesca! Oh no, that's just one. My apologies. One, but one miss is not gonna be enough. Rocker I picking up another one at Rocker. the very end. 96.33%. It looked so, so promising for Rocker, but those couple of misses have pretty much made all those dreams of a semi-final against Kira go wow. down the drain. Tesca taking the match 3-1 to one on his own pick. GG's to both of them. Very, very well played to, but to Rocker. It was incredibly close at so, so many points. But in the end, against someone like Tesca... You just cannot, you just have to be perfect. You have to strive for perfection to have any chance to compete here. At this time, it was not enough. Tesca will move on to the semi-final against Kira. Rocker will drop down to the loser's bracket, where he will play against the winner of Nylik and Crusader.